Halloween is one of my favorite holidays. This year I made some super spooky lawn ghosts. I say that they are super spooky because you can see right through them, yet they magically retain human form. Pretty spooky, right? If you'd like some ghosts like this in your yard, it's pretty easy. All you need is a Ouija board. Just kidding. You need a foam head form, cheesecloth, a sponge brush, scissors, plastic wrap, floral wire, and Jacquard's fabric sculpting medium. I'm also using an empty plastic water jug to make a shoulder form. You could use a couple of milk cartons or roll up some newspapers and wrap them in plastic wrap. It doesn't have to be precise and no one will ever see it. Just use anything that vaguely resembles shoulders. I'm drawing a red line down the center so that I can clearly see where the center is as I work. And now I'm going to wrap both pieces in plastic wrap. This will make removing our sculpture from the form much easier. The more tightly you wrap the head form, the better the details will be. Now I'm going to use the floral wire to give a little extra support. Begin at the base of the foam head and gently push a half inch of the wire into the foam, then guide it along the top of the head. Make a little loop at the very top so that you can hang it easily. I will be putting one piece of fabric on the front of the head and then a separate piece on the back of the head. This is why I have that red line to serve as a guide. So I'm making a second wire form for the back piece. I'm just going to do it the exact same way. Make sure there's a loop on that part as well. Now I also want the nose and chin to be very defined, so I'm going to put a third wire there and hold it in place with some scotch tape. And I'll do the same to the back. Now for the messy part. I'm going to do the front first and I'm going to begin at the top. I'm using that wire around the side as a guide and I'm not going to put any fabric beyond it. This is two layers of cheesecloth and I'm using the sponge brush to apply the medium to the fabric. I did it pretty thickly because the cheesecloth is so thin and I only have a few little wires for support. This will appear messy and goopy, but don't worry. It will dry, dry nicely. You're going to let your, let your front side dry a bit until it is no longer wet and sticky. It doesn't have to be completely dry, but um, at least so it's dry to the touch. Then you can turn it over and apply the fabric to the back piece. I was reminded of the importance of cleaning brushes thoroughly with this project. The brush I was using had some old solar fast dye on it, which reacts to light, so my ghost got a little blue when I let her dry in the sun. I later used some opaque airbrush paint to make her white again. Let both pieces dry for a few hours, and then gently begin working them off the form. If they are completely dry and you use plastic wrap, this will not be difficult. You join both pieces with that little hoop that you made on both sides. If you need additional support, you can use a string and needle and stitch it up or a few dots of hot glue. Cut and fray the bottom for a wispy ghost effect. Now you're ready to hang your spooky ghosts and terrify all your neighbors. There was even a light rain, and my ghosts were completely unaffected. My ghosts are so scary, I was even frightened myself. Happy Halloween!